Hello, hello, good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. How was your weekend? Mm, so relaxed. <laughs> what 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 did you do this weekend? I I stay in my own my house. Mm -hmm. And I only in my house. <laughs> Oh, okay. Watching my clothes and cleaning and doing some homework. Oh, you, you ah, you worked on the on the platform. Yes. Okay, that's excellent. I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Okay, guys, welcome everybody. Welcome Katia. Welcome Rigoberto. Welcome, Doris. I hope that everybody had a, a good weekend. Uh, today, we're going to be moving forward and we're going to get started and we're going to be looking at section number three. So for this activity, we're going to be looking at this topic right here. Listen, please. Remember, you may play them as many times as you need to. The idea is for you to feel comfortable with them. Stonehenge is a mysterious ancient monument, isolated deep in the English countryside. To this day, no one has been able to determine who built Stonehenge or why. The original monument was made up of approximately 153 colossal standing stones, weighing up to 40 tons and arranged in a circular enclosure. The people who built Stonehenge must have been doing so for purposes that seemed very, very important to them at the time. It was always a literally monumental undertaking. A lot of the big stones come from Wales, so transporting those for people who didn't have the wheel has to have been an unbelievably difficult uh, undertaking. Stonehenge has been called everything from a Neolithic hospital to an alien landing site, a solar temple, to a druid shrine. The period we're dealing with here is our, our prehistory, and what defines prehistory is that we've got no written records about anything. So everything that we understand about it comes from, from archaeology, from what we can excavate, what we can analyze. In 2008, hundreds of human bones were excavated at the site, primitively burned and buried. The bones were dated across a thousand years of prehistory. The first analysis of all the cremated bones that were found at Stonehenge suggests that it's mainly adult males, adult men, that were buried there. So it's quite a distinctive group of people, and only probably very important people came there to be buried. The cremated remains suggest that the history books may need to be rewritten. Stonehenge could have been a temple of the dead, a place where ancient people came to commune with the spirits. And the 2009 discovery of a second circle called Blue Stonehenge appears to be further evidence that Stonehenge formed part of a huge ceremonial complex. Stonehenge clearly is a place of ceremony. It's a place where people gather together. I don't think they built it and then just abandoned it. And I'm sure that elaborate ceremonies went on there. It is these rituals and ceremonies that are key to understanding of people lost to history. Okay, we're going to repeat it one more time. We are going to repeat it one more time. At this moment, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or questions about the expressions that you heard on the video at this moment? Questions or 
pronunciation questions, vocabulary questions at this moment? Somebody? Anybody? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, we can hear you, but no question by now. Okay, we're going to watch it one more time. Please pay attention and take notes. How are you doing with the intro videos? Remember, you may play them as many times as you need to. The idea is for you to feel comfortable with them. Stonehenge is a mysterious ancient monument, isolated deep in the English countryside. To this day, no one has been able to determine who built Stonehenge or why. The original monument was made up of approximately 153 colossal standing stones, weighing up to 40 tons and arranged in a circular enclosure. The people who built Stonehenge must have been doing so for purposes that seemed very, very important to them at the time. It was always a literally monumental undertaking. A lot of the big stones come from Wales, so transporting those for people who didn't have the wheel has to have been an unbelievably difficult uh, undertaking. Stonehenge has been called everything from a Neolithic hospital to an alien landing site, a solar temple, to a druid shrine. The period we're dealing with here is our, our prehistory, and what defines prehistory is that we've got no written records about anything. So everything that we understand about it comes from, from archaeology, from what we can excavate, from what we can analyze. In 2008, hundreds of human bones were excavated at the site primitively burned and buried. The bones were dated across a thousand years of prehistory. The first analysis of all the cremated bones that were found at Stonehenge suggests that it's mainly adult males, adult men, that were buried there. So it's quite a distinctive group of people, and only probably very important people came there to be buried. The cremated remains suggest that the history books may need to be rewritten. Stonehenge could have been a temple of the dead, a place where ancient people came to commune with the spirits. And the 2009 discovery of a second circle called Blue Stonehenge appears to be further evidence that Stonehenge formed part of a huge ceremonial complex. Stonehenge clearly is a place of ceremony, it's a place where people gathered together. I don't think they built it and then just abandoned it. And I'm sure that elaborate ceremonies went on there. It is these rituals and ceremonies that are key to understanding of people lost to history. All right, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. One student, one person. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, Katya, tell me uh, what do you think, what is your opinion, uh, or what is the objective, in your opinion, about Stonehenge? Mm. Okay, teacher. I think maybe uh, the people made sacrifice there. I don't know. Okay, good, good, good. Maybe they sacrificed male men, adult men, because it says that they found adult male bones. Okay, okay. 
So at this moment, you are going to write here in your discussion forum in this section, you're going to put añade una publicación. You're going to go where it says título and you're going to write Stonehenge. Stonehenge. And you're going to write a short paragraph about your opinion of Stonehenge, right? For example, in my opinion, Stonehenge was used to make a spiritual connection men were sacrifice sacrificed to contact another dimension something like that for example you write whatever dimension uh, you write whatever it's in your ideas you're going to write at least at least 30 to 50 words and then when you finish you are going to write enviar any questions no, okay, uh, can somebody tell me what are you going to do? What are you going to do in this activity? Who can tell me? Uh, I. Maritza. Uh, we're going to write uh, what our opinion about the Stonehenge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we have to write a minimum 30 words to the maximum 50. 30 to 50, 30 to 50. It can be 30 to 50, anywhere in between there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the homework. That is the activity, correct. You are going to write uh, a short paragraph expressing your ideas or your opinions about what you think is the objective of Stonehenge, uh, who built Stonehenge, how did they build Stonehenge, who had access to Stonehenge? Any questions? Questions, questions? No, no question. We we can uh, say anything. Yes. We can, we can write anything. You can write about anything. What what is the purpose of Stonehenge? Who built Stonehenge? Who had access to Stonehenge? What was the objective of Stonehenge? How did they build Stonehenge? You will you can write the same uh, information in pairs, right? For example, if Alexander and Doris are in pairs, you can write the same thing. If Enrique and Marvin are in pairs, you can write the same thing. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, any questions at this moment? No. No, no questions. Okay, okay. <laughs> Everybody is so quiet today. It feels, <laughs> it feels weird. <laughs> you know, because usually Monday, you know, people have energy. It's Monday, <laughs> let's go, but today... But not today. <laughs> not today. Everybody, uh -huh. everybody is so quiet. It's like... Uh -huh. 
I don't know, teacher. I didn't practice English all week. <laughs> <laughs> it's it okay. was because it was a hard, a hard day because of the traffic. Oh, there's a lot of traffic today? Yes. Oh, so sorry. Okay. Okay. Let's work. You will have five minutes. Five okay. minutes. Five minutes. You will create the room. I'm, I am creating the rooms oh, okay. right now. Okay. Okay. I am creating the rooms right now. Okay. You will have five minutes. And then we're going to, you're going to share some of your ideas as a class. Remember, oh. you can write the same thing as your partner. Uh, Rigoberto, you are working with Marvin. Ana Pineda, you are working with Sergio Eduardo. Cool. So I don't know if you want to share your screen. Yeah, you can share your screen. Okay. Hi. Sergio, you, you share your screen. Me? Oh, I, have, I have no yeah. problem, but I just uh, uh, got into the class. Uh, Two minutes ago, so I didn't I didn't uh, listen the, the instructions. Yeah, but you uh, already seen the video, the introduction video. Watch the, song the video. Watch when it's a video, we say watch the video. Okay, thank you. Uh, point point of view about the story. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to share my 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 screen. Let me let me see and give me one second, please. Okay. 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 I got it. So. I don't know if you have uh, some ideas about the study or. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, as I understand about the video is that it's a mystery. Okay. In our opinion. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's eight. Stone hinge. I don't, I don't know. Stone hinge. I don't know how to write stone. You can work as a group. You can work as a trio. You can share your screen. Yes, in this moment we are going to um, to write because my co co-worker is in this moment in the bus. Okay, uh, one student can share the screen and you guys can write the same thing. Maybe Marcela or maybe Juan Jose because I know that Byron is on the bus. Okay, Marcela, can you hear me? Hello, Marcela, are you there? But I know the Stonehenge. I have 
watching for news, for documental, some, some investigation about the stone hedge. Uh, as I said to Byron, that is very mysterious. That is what blocks so big. I don't know how to pick it up in that, in that rock because there are so big. What do you think about Marcela? Hi, Marcela, do you hear me? Hi. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. In in which a part of the platform? Can you repeat this? I, I didn't hear you. In oh. which in which all right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue. Let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. Alexander Munoz. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I have a bit, a bit, no, it's a bit question, or I don't know, you know, I watch TV in the series Ancestral. And oh, I, have, yes. I like it, I like <laughs> yes. it. Yes, hey, I don't know what happened in Stone Age, maybe this, uh, this, like a, a circle was created for a Omnis, and I don't know, because it's a, to communicate the others, the others, a planet or the other, I don't know, but uh, it really, for example, I don't know how they move that stone. That's the, right. The first, the first one. That's right. How? how? And the second, who? A human or just really extraterrestrials? Or maybe is a exists a human like a like um giants? Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know, mm -hmm. but I have a many questions about that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think good, good. I think yes. Okay. The onis exist. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Well, thank you, Alexander. <laughs> Alexander, select somebody. Okay. Let me see. Marcela Aguilar. Marcela Aguilar. No, 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 not Marcela because uh, she was she's uh transporting right now. Ah, okay. Okay. She was coming from work. Okay. Byron Lasso. Byron Lasso. Nope, nope. Byron no. is, on, is on the bus. He's on the bus right now coming to, okay. coming to his house. Let me see. Rigoberto Argueta. Okay, okay. Rigoberto Argueta. Good evening. What can I do? <laughs> uh, share with the class what is your opinion in regards to Stonehenge? Oh, about that, I just joined to the meeting, so I don't know, because I didn't watch the video. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Let's select somebody else. Select somebody else, Rigoberto. Uh, I'm since the cell phone, so I can't see the names of the persons. <laughs> ah, okay, Juan Jose, Enrique Hernandez, Javier Melgar, Ivania Romero. Uh, Javier Melgar. Javier Melgar. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. Javier. Yeah, go ahead, share with the class 
uh, what is your opinion in regards to Stonehenge? Ivana and me thinks uh, Stonehenge is an ancient temple for uh, uh, ancient temple built for Celtic people, and probably the uh, is a solar temple celebrate the harvest of nature celebration in the circular stone, yeah, mm -hmm. and probably today is a museum important mm -hmm. for Great Britain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, hey, I have a question. Yes. Javier, have a, his voice is like a Francisco. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's the same person. <laughs> hey, Francisco, what happened? Why you change your name? Okay. Because, okay. because my, my parents put my name, Francisco. Javier, when <laughs> I was born. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. Um, if you are not finished, that is going to be your homework. Okay. If you are not finished, that is going to be your homework. Now we are going to continue with the next one. 3.0 lesson objective in this class participants will we listen have a question. our our group have a question okay who is in your group uh, uh javier and rigoberto oh okay go ahead ask your question so, uh, we know that stone is piedra but i don't know what is the meaning of hands good question good question <laughs> I think that it's a proper noun. It's nombre propio. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, uh -huh. so I don't think it has a translation. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Huh? Excuse me. Can, can could I make a question? Yes. I I'd like to know what's the difference between regard and mm -hmm. about, because I just uh, heard that mm -hmm. you say to us. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, uh, say something. Regard the video. Mm. So I always have a uh, listen about uh, the, the 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 word about. Oh, it's the same. It's the same. I can say to you, for example, I am calling about your house, for example. Or I can say, I am calling regards your house so in this context it has the same meaning about and regards have the same meaning okay okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thank you it's the same thing mm -hmm. all right in this class, participants will listen to a conversation about offering explanations. Pay attention to past modals. Who can tell me what are the modals? What are the modals? Could. Could. Mm -hmm. Should. Should. Mm -hmm. Might. Would. Uh-huh. Might. Okay. So that's those are the models. You have an idea. Listen, please. Listen, please. Hi. We're ready to play the next conversation, but we want you to be ready to answer these questions. You asked Beth to be here around 7 o'clock, didn't you? Yes. What time is it now? It's almost eight. I wonder what happened. Hmm. She might have forgotten the time. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. 
we're going to play it one more time. Hi, we're ready to play the next conversation, but we want you to be ready to answer these questions. You asked Beth to be here around 7 o'clock, didn't you? Yes. What time is it now? It's almost 8. I wonder what happened. Hmm. She might have forgotten the time. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? I got her voicemail. So she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. Right, listen and repeat. You asked Beth to be around to be here around seven, didn't you? You asked you Beth asked to be here around seven, seven, didn't you? you? Around seven, did, did yeah. you? Yes. What time is it now? Yes. 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 What time, what time is, is it now? now? It's almost eight. It's, it's almost, almost eight. 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 I wonder what happened. I wonder what happened. Mm, she might have forgotten the time. She, mm, she, she might, might have forgotten, forgotten, the, forgotten the, time. the time. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? I got her voicemail. I got, I got her, her voicemail. So she must have not have turned on her cell phone. So she must she, not she must have on her, her, on her, 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 her cell, phone. cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. The road. The road. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she might have simply forgotten. Of course, and done something else today. And done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. No, no, she couldn't have forgotten. Forgotten. I just I, talked to her about it yesterday. I just, I just talked to her about, about it yesterday. yesterday. I guess we should start without her. I, I, I guess, guess we should start, start, without, start without, without her. her. OK, so I want you to notice that we have a model here. She might, then the auxiliary have, then the past participle. OK. Here we have the modal must, the auxiliary for the negative not, then the auxiliary have for the past participle, past perfect, mm -hmm. and then turned for the past participle. Okay. Here we see again the modal auxiliary may, the auxiliary have, and then the verb in the mat past participle again. Okay. Here we see the modal auxiliary couldn't and the contraction for the negative. Mm -hmm. We have the auxiliary have, mm -hmm. and then again, the past participle. Here we have the modal should, and then the verb in the simple present. So if the verb is, if the modal is followed by the auxiliary have, the verb is in past participle. Mm -hmm. If the modal is, doesn't have the auxiliary have, the verb is in the simple form. Okay. Now, what I would like for you to do is take a few minutes in pairs, and I would like for you to practice the pronunciation, practice in okay. pairs. I okay. want you to practice at least 
three times. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Let's do it. Practice in pairs at least three or four times. All right, so Javier, Byron, Ana, Omar, let's go. And Marcela. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? A few minutes later. Uh, I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her, her car could have broken down or something. Of course. She may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about, about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. Okay. So uh, I will be Jackie. Okay. Okay. You asked Beth to be here around seven, didn't you? Yes, what time is it now? It's almost eight. I wonder what happened. Hmm. She might have forgotten the time. I don't, why don't I call and see if she's on her way? A few minute, minutes later. I got her voicemail. So she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. So she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. Okay. Um we have Another time? time. Okay. Yeah. I think. Okay. Um, okay, you are Jackie. Okay. You asked Beth to be here around seven. Seven, didn't you? Yes. What time is it now? It's almost eight. I wonder what happened. Mm, she might have forgotten the time. Why don't I call you? Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? A few minutes later. I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on, turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the, on the road. Her car could, could have broken down or something. Of course, she might have simply forgotten and done something else straight. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. Okay. Uh, we have time, right? Yes, we can continue. Yeah, okay. Marvin, sorry. All 
right. Uh, now that everybody practiced the audio, the conversation, we're going to finish watching the video. Listen, please. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. What time was Beth asked to come? What time is it now? What does Will decide to do? Why can't Will contact Beth? What do they decide to do? After answering all of those questions, now listen to the rest of the conversation and find out what happened to Beth. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? Oh, here comes Beth now. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I had an emergency. Oh, nothing serious, I hope. Well, kind of. It was Sally. Sally? Your dog? What happened? Well, I was just about to leave when she started acting strange. Then she just passed out. Oh my gosh. I panicked. I thought she had died at first. I had to rush her to the emergency clinic. But is she okay? Oh, I hope she's all right. Yeah, she's going to be fine. The vet said it was some kind of virus. So he gave her an injection, and I had to leave her with him. I'll go by later and pick her up. Oh, but guess what? What? She's going to have puppies. Congratulations. You're going to be a grandmother. <laughs> very funny, Bill. Yeah, Bill. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to write here in the discussion forum about an experience that you have had in your life similar to this situation that you see in the story. All of those Maybe you were invited to a place and something happened, or maybe a friend. You invited a friend to an event, a dinner, a ceremony, church, to the movies, a class, a seminar, to the park, and something happened that this person couldn't make it. And what happened? And I want you to share it here in the discussion forum. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Please. yes. Okay. You can write the same thing as your partner. You can write the same thing or the same story as your partner. It can be something, a, a true experience that you had, or it can be something invented. You will have five minutes to work in pairs. Ready, let's go. Hi, Riga. Hi. Are you there? Hi. Hello, hello. I'm here. Oh, that's good. And so, I don't know if you have something in mind about a story, I don't know, experience. No. No, really. Okay. Uh, so let me see. I don't know. Let me see if I I can share my screen and maybe we could write something together. So, okay, perfect. Okay, can, can you can you see the screen? Yes, I see. Okay. Okay, no, no, no. Maybe maybe something funny that that happened. Um, I don't know, in, in in some in some situation in your life or or just invented. I think that is 
if there is or to, to invent it. Okay. Okay, sometime. Or a pair a, a few a few years ago. Few years ago. <laughs> a few years ago. My I was, friend, was um, I don't know. My friend and, and I. I I was what? My friend and I. I was with my friend. <laughs> with my friend. Doing what? Uh, in a party? Yes. <laughs> in a party. And um, okay. The celebration. He wants it. He wants it. Then was for I don't know for my for another, for another uh, friend's birthday. No, no. <laughs> friends, uh, let me see. Friends' uh, birthday. Birthday. And it's fun. It is funny. But both have a for forgotten 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 the the gift <laughs> the gift the gifts. I don't know what what do you think about the story? <laughs> we should, yeah. we should, uh, um, and it's fine for both. Uh, both. Uh, or both. Sorry, sorry, uh, but I don't, know if, I don't know if it's, I don't remember if it is necessary add the word we. We both have forgotten the gifts. It, it, it has sense, teacher? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we should, we should have, um, Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? No. Okay. If you are not finished, that's going to be your homework. If you are not finished, that is going to be your homework. Okay. Okay, now we're going to move on and we're going to be looking at section 3.2. By the end of this class, participants will learn how to use past modal verbs for degrees of certainty. Past modal verbs, degrees of certainty. Um, teacher, what is the meaning of certainty? Uh, uh, certainty is the estar seguro de algo. Thank you. For example, in Spanish, you say, you say, estoy más que seguro, right? To give a certainty. Oh, thank you so much. Yes.
I cannot listen, teacher. Uh huh. I can't listen. I, I can't know. listen. It's not okay. possible. Ah, yes. This time we'll study past models for degrees of certainty. Stay yes. and find out what this is about. Okay, so when you use the modal must, must, that means that it's 99% certain or 99% for sure. Estás bien seguro. Uh, when you use couldn't have, it means that it's almost not possible. And then when you say may or might, may or might or could have, it's maybe like 50-50%. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. okay. The, the yes, could, sure. Couldn't, couldn't, uh, the mass is 99, but couldn't. Couldn't is like, like, not, a, like 99% negative. Ah, uh, okay. And mass, and is, mass is 100%. Is, is 99% positive. Ah, okay, okay. Past modals for degrees of certainty. It's almost certain. She must have left already. She must not have turned on her cell phone. It's not possible. She couldn't have been at home. It's possible. She may have forgotten the time. She might have forgotten the time. She may not have remembered the time. She might not have remembered the time. Her car could have broken down. Past models for certainty. We may use must or couldn't have. We use must or must not have when we are almost certain. We may also use couldn't have if it's not possible. Past models of possibility. We may use may, might, or could have. So remember, we may use may, might, and could when something is possible, but we don't know for sure. When you want to use may, might, or could have, this is what you should follow. Subject plus may or might or could plus have plus past participle. She may have gotten lost. I will present two situations. We want you to come up with the best explanation. Number one, your best friend is in a terrible mood today. Number two, your brother or sister is short of money again. Okay. So in this activity right here, I want you to give me three examples about possibilities of something that could have happened to a friend a family member or a relative. Three examples. Okay, now we're going to read the situation and choose the best explanation. Number one, Jane is in a terrible mood today. What do you think is going on with Jane? The letter D. B. She could have had a fight with her boyfriend. Letter E. Okay. She might have had a fight with her boyfriend. Could be. Could be. Mm -hmm. That's why she's in terrible mood today. Could be. Or but, 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 she must but, 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 not. Uh huh. A letter B. Yes, a letter B. Because or letter B. Sure. She must not have gotten, have enough, gotten sleep. enough sleep. We don't know. We don't know. Okay. All right. You're going to have mm -hmm. three minutes to work this activity in pairs, and then we will check it together. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Me? Yes, I have finished. Okay. Number two. You? I have F. He could. Brian got a call in Ethan Warriors. He couldn't have hear good news. In the number one? Number one, I have the. D, she could have, have a fight with her boyfriend. All right, it's the same that I have. Okay. Number three, it's the teacher looks very happy today. Miss E, he may have gotten a race. Okay, it's the same that I have. Okay. Number four. Four. Maura couldn't keep her eyes open. Is the letter B? She must not have gotten enough sleep. Okay. They're the same that I have. Okay. Number, Number five. five. Yes. Um, Jeff was fired from his job. The answer that I have is letter C. He might not have done his work on time. Okay, that's correct. Last one. Number six. My cousin is short of money again. It's letter E. She must have spent too much last month. Yeah, it's the same that I have also. Okay. All of them are correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, all of them are correct. Okay, we finished the activity. We finished, Uh, number one is is very difficult. Yes, I have but the, with that. Yeah, because the number one, uh, all of them could be the answer. Yes, I think it was B. She must have no garden enough. Sleep. Yeah. At, at the first time, I think the, the letter B also. Yes, me too. All right, guys, time's up, time's up. Please continue working on the platform and we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Have a good teacher. Night. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.